It was as formal an event as the state will ever see. 800 mostly well-heeled Virginians in tuxedos and long gowns cramming a hotel ballroom to honor Harry Byrd. The guest list was star-studded. There was Governor Robb and Supreme Court Justice Lewis Powell, Army Secretary John Marsh, and actor Douglas Fairbanks, Jr. Many of you might be wondering, what uh, am I doing here? In fact, Fairbanks and Byrd served together in the Naval Reserve and have been longtime friends. The featured speaker was Vice President George Bush, who said freedom has been Byrd's guiding light. He's fought to protect the freedoms of Americans to say what they think, to pursue the careers that they want, to keep and use the money that they earn, and to raise their families in peace. The strongest praise of Harry Byrd came from his oldest political ally, former Governor Mills Godwin, who tried in vain to convince the senator to run for re-election and then organized the dinner to pay tribute to his friend's career. And I have the high honor and great pleasure now to present to you the distinguished senior United States Senator from Virginia, the Honorable Harry Flood, Flood Byrd, Jr. Byrd appreciated the accolades and told the crowd that he intends to remain a vocal advocate of conservative government. Come next month, I shall no longer be in the Senate. But I shall have a greater freedom of action than I've had in the past. And I shall continue to work alongside you in behalf of the principles and philosophy of government in which you and I believe. This dinner may have marked the end of an era in Virginia, for though this state will always have conservative politicians, none will wear the label as staunchly as Harry Byrd. All will be pretenders to his legacy, until perhaps someday another Byrd steps forward to carry on the family name. In Richmond, Joel Ribbon, The Daily News.